at Trees of Pan. So today I want to talk about being equally yoked. Back in the day I was pursuing this beautiful young lady and she just wouldn't give me no play and she was just like, you know, you're a great guy, but you know, we aren't equally yoked. So I'm like, what do you mean we're not equally yoked? You know, I'm not even hungry. You talking about eggs. I'm trying to get with you. You talking about eggs. Like, you know, she was like, no, that's not what it means. You know, you go look it up. So I had to pull out the Bible and I found it under Corinthians 614. It said, do not be yoked together with unbelievers. So it wasn't the fact that I was not a believer. She was a devout Catholic. You know, I was a CME member, Christmas, Mother's Day and Easter. So it says, for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? So basically, you know, we ended up getting together after all that. And after a year and a half, it didn't work out. I had to put her out. But anyway, I look at it from different aspects. The Bible also refers to when two oxen are yoked together and one oxen is stronger than the other. The other one does the majority of the week, the work. So they're not equally yoked. So I believe that, you know, and dating nowadays, is it really possible to be equally yoked? You can have a woman and meet her and she's crazy. The guy is normal. The woman can have a bunch of kids and he doesn't have any. She could have grew up like the Huxtables. He could have grew up like Nino Brown. You know, she could be a lawyer. He could be the defendant. She could be a corrections officer. He could be them locked up. She could work at McDonald's. He could be a businessman. And believe me, if a businessman come to McDonald's drive through and the girl is fine, he's still going to holler at her, you know, because guys always want to be pimp daddy save a hoe. But that's another episode of Trey's Opinion. So, you know, the guy could be black. The girl could be Asian. Are we really equally yoked? You know, the guy could go to work or she can go to work. The guy be hiding in the bushes. So is it really possible to be equally yoked? To be equally yoked spiritually, mentally, financially is it really possible uh i mean i'm sure it is possible but i think you have to be one to compromise sometimes you may not be 100 percent equally yoked you just have to know what your deal breakers are what you're willing to compromise on and what you're not willing to compromise on what are your non-negotiables if you have a guy the guy drinks he smokes he does drugs he does whatever and you don't like that don't think you're going to be able to change that man you're not going to change that man. So that's my opinion on being equally yoked. As always, this is Trey's opinion. Thanks for stopping by.